Hello students, you have learned to draw the psychography of solids in simple conditions. That is when the object is kept on a horizontal plane perpendicular to the horizontal plane. Now let us see how to draw the psychography in a little more complex situation where the same object is tilted to horizontal plane. So let us take an example of again a cuboid. So this cuboid is placed with a base tilting at 30 degrees angle to horizontal plane. And obviously as it, it has the surfaces which are perfect rectangles, the angle on other side is going to be 60. So this 30 and 60, this being 90. So now this cuboid consists of 12 edges and 6 planes, which you already know. Orthographic projection of the same cuboid in a tilted position comes like this. Now, in order to draw the psychography, we have to first give coordinates for all the edges. As you know that there are 12 edges to the cuboid. So all the trail edges require the coordinates. So let us give the coordinates. So I place here A, B, C, D as coordinate of this plane. And then E, F, G, H. That means E, F, G, H as the coordinates of other plane. So now by giving these eight points, I have actually given coordinates to all the 12 edges which it has got. That is four vertical edges, four edges at the base and four edges at the top. So with this, I am able to now identify in a proper way the edges which are going to give us side. Now, as you have learned in the last exercise of cuboids on a horizontal plane that in order to start with the psychography, you need to first identify those edges which are relevant to us, the edges which are going to actually give you the psychography, the edges which we call as a cutting edges, which cut the light and light is cut and the shadow is casted. So, in order to do so, you have to have a visualization. You should be able to visualize the object in 3D and with the assumed conditions of condition of light, that is we take 45 degrees in the plan and 45 degrees in the elevation, What, which are those edges which are going to be the cutting edges which are going to give us the profile of the shadow of that three-dimensional object. So, in order to help you, in order to facilitate you to visualize these edges, I have drawn the 3D figure, but you should be in a position to visualize these edges even without drawing this 3D figure. But I have done it for your uh, better understanding. So the same cuboid in 3D would look like this, where this A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D plane is here in the front. Opposite to that on the back side is plane E, F, G, H. So that is E, F, G, H plane. And between these two planes are these two vertical planes. Now, this vertical plane means A, E, F, B. This vertical plane means D, C, G, H. And similarly, horizontal planes that is B, F, C, G, C and A, E, H, D. So, this is how it is kept. Now, this view is 
somewhat like looking from this side from the direction of the light this view is from the direction of light as it comes so as you know that this object has got six surfaces so now here we see all the six surfaces in 3d with this direction of light let us see which surfaces receive the light so as you can see here you can imagine from here also see this surface receives the light this surface receives the light and also top surface also receives the light okay so here we have this surface which receives the light do you get it this surface receives the light that is this surface then this surface receives the light that is this surface that is this surface and this surface receives the light that is b f c g so b f c g so this surface receives the light okay a b c d this surface is the light which is here vertical this is also inclined this is inclined that is e f b a that is this surface so all these surfaces receive the light so as these surfaces receive the light we have seen in the last exercise that when two surfaces join together they make a edge so like this surface and this surface when they join they make this edge right when this surface and this surface when they join they make this edge so that is how we have these three edges but observe it carefully the surfaces adjoining these edge two surfaces adjoining this edge two surfaces adjoining this edge two surfaces these two surfaces adjoining these edge or making that edge let us say they are lit i hope you can imagine they are lit if this direction this is direction of light they are lit like if you see from this side this surface is lit this surface is lit and this surface is also lit so one two and this vertical three surfaces are lit so the edges which are formed due to meeting of these surfaces these surfaces these surfaces will not be considered for shadow because these surfaces are lit so which are those edges which are will be considered for drawing the shadow the one which are uh, uh, which are uh, forming which are uh, joining of the two surfaces but only one surface is lit and one is in dark so let us see which are those edges so now again if we look at this from this angle and also take the help of elevation so if you take the help of elevation then also you see suppose this is 45 degrees light this is 45 degrees lights coming like that we can very clearly see that this surface is going to receive the light so this is light is received by this surface at this angle of light we can also see that this surface also receive the light see this surface also receive the light is that clear to you this surface and this surface are receive the light and if you look at the plan this is that surface which is this one and this surface is this one so both receive the light and if light is coming like that this front surface also receives the light that is this surface also receives the light as you are seeing here also now so which are the cutting edges so observe carefully the cutting edges are this one this one is cutting edge then this is not the cutting edge because both the surfaces are lit this is cutting edge so this is cutting edge then this is a cutting edge on the other side not on the front side front side is this other side is this so this same edge ef cutting edge i will show here ef as a cutting edge this is that cutting edge i hope you can relate it with this then fg is a cutting edge fg here so fg is a cutting edge so i make it red here 
and then GC is a cutting edge. GC is a cutting edge. So GC is a cutting edge. Then again, when the light is coming like this, the light is coming like this, not the top, but the bottom edge here is going to be cutting edge. So this edge is going to be cutting edge. That is, that is D. Uh, that is DC. So DC edge is going to be the cutting gauge. So here I draw this. DC is a cutting gauge. Then when the light is coming like that, so DC I have marked. This is a cutting gauge. DC. Then this is also going to be cutting gauge because the light is coming like this. So like this means this edge is a cutting gauge on this front side. So that I have, that is cutting gauge. Then this edge will be cutting edge. So this goes here. So that is this edge. That is this edge is a cutting edge. Uh, this AD I have marked. So this way we have six edges which are cutting edges. Let us write them here once again. So AE. A E that is this one A E then E F that is here E F on the other side it is I can show it in dotted also dotted this also is there in the dotted A E and then E F so E F A E E F then E F after that F G F G that is this is F G so F G then G C G C that is this G C that is this H it goes like that G C so G C then we have C D that is this one C D then C D and the last one is D A that is this one D A I can write it here also so that is D A so these are the six edges which we will have to consider out of 12 to draw the psigraphy so now the remaining job is fairly simple you have to select one edge any one edge you can select and then take the coordinates of that edge the points, project them meticulously one by one, join them and then go ahead like that, you will get the cycle. So let us see now that also. So I first take, let us say DC. I chose DC because D is on the ground, so I have to only project C. So DC from the elevation, if I project C gets projected here and D is here at this point. C is here. So here also I project the C. So it goes like this along this line. From here, if I bring it down, it comes here. So this becomes my C dash. So I know that D is here stationary and C dash that is projection of C. These two points can be joined. So I join them. Here I show dotted because it is hidden. And here I join. So this becomes my psigraphy of this age DC. Now as I have taken DC, it is better I take the next age for which C is one of the coordinates. So which is that age for which C is coordinate that is CG. If you see in the elevation it is CG that is this age going like that. In the plan it is CG. So C I have opted, now I will go for G. So G I project at the angle of 45, it goes like this. And the same line holds good, so it comes like that. So this is here, so this is G dash. So now C G makes a straight A, so I join them. So I join it. So this is my psigraphy of the age C G. Now, Next edge obviously will be the one where G is a common point. So next will be 
g f so f is here i project it i project it it comes somewhere here f has come here on the in the elevation in the plan it is here so i project it at 45 like this here project the 45 so it comes here you know this is slightly the distance has become little less than required uh, i didn't guess it but anyway you can know that if it has to come on the ground it will come here so this is that point so the psychography of cg this will be my this will be my f f dash f dash so psychography of fg is going to be like this so this is the psychography of fg now next point is f e that is this f e in the elevation f e is here that is behind this edge so f i have already got i need to project e so e goes like this e goes like this along this line in the plan in the elevation it comes this way from here i bring it down so near here e will come so this is my e dash so e and f can be joined so i join it so i have joined it so this becomes the psychography of age e f as e dash and f dash so this was also over now next age is e d so e e a sorry i am sorry e a e a is this horizontal edge that is this edge e a that is e a e i have obtained a is here so a also i project it goes like this along this line so a projected in the elevation comes here from here i bring it down so it comes here so this is my a dash and then this i join as a psychography of e a so that comes so the dotted because it is hidden so this is e a now only last edge is remaining that is a d so a is here as a dash d is here only so i have to simply join this so i have joined this so my psychography is my psychography is this is my psychography which is seen in the plan and in this part it is hidden so we not we show it in dotted because it's a hidden psychography we show it in dotted line dotted so this is the hidden psychography so you see all the six edges clearly 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and you see the psychography containing the edges so this is the basic procedure uh, only the question again here is identification of the edges to draw the psychography properly because in a uh, condition where the object is exactly perpendicular it was relatively simple to identify but moment it gets inclined it requires a little more visualization so you may draw even 3d for the next examples uh, yourself uh, because next example may be may not be cube that is a pyramid so you draw that imagine the edges and take those edges and draw the psychography so go ahead